Howdy, folks. I'm Chuck Plugging Charlie. Uh, I'm the cook here for the Lazy T. Uh, I'm going to show you our uh, chuck wagon, but I want to tell you a little bit of the history of it first. The chuck wagon was designed by uh, Charlie Goodnight. Charlie was part of the Lovey Goodnight uh, Ranch in Palo Duro Canyon, Texas. And in 1865, there were a lot of cattle roaming through Texas, and they were going to try to get them to the market in Sedalia, Missouri, and also over to Abilene, Kansas, or wherever the railroad was at that time. He took a Studebaker uh, wagon, uh, put a canvas on it, and he put a uh, box in the uh, rear end of it, and then he built a table. And you'll notice on the table, there's some boxes in here, and this is the upper box. They used that box, uh, to store their beans, uh, flour, anything that was perishable and might get wet. There's a box underneath of this table also, and that box uh, held the uh, cooking utensils, the Dutch warmers, frying pan, the coffee pot, etc. Because they would cross a creek and they might get water in that area, so they didn't put the perishables down there. This uh, table uh, was made as a tailgate, and they would serve the food on it, and the cowboys would grab a saddle or a log to sit on while they ate. My job as a cook started around 3 o'clock in the morning. I would have the biscuits already made, and they'd be in the, warm in the Dutch ovens warming up. Uh, I'd start my fire at 3 o'clock. By about 4, we would uh, put the biscuits in, we'd have beans, and we'd have sow belly. About daylight, the cowboys would get up and eat, and then they'd head on out to start the cattle. <clears throat> I'd clean things up, and I'd start to the next place that we were going to stop, which would be probably 12 or 13 miles away. The scout would tell us where to go and how to get there. So for the rest of the day, I'd be slightly ahead of the herd. I'd get in there and immediately get the fire set up. We had a canvas underneath of the wagon, and we would put buffalo chips, uh, dried firewood, whatever in there, so we had dry wood to build our fire. We would uh, eat about dark, right around 9 o'clock in the evening. The cowboys would finish up and head to bed, and then around 3 in the morning, I'd be up again getting ready to do it. This specific chuck wagon came down in the land run of 1893. It was up at Hartner, Kansas, and it came down to, eventually ended up in Nash, Oklahoma. But it came in as a mobile home for the cowboy who made that run, and the next hundred years, uh, it's been in Oklahoma. We have used it in parades around the United States. We used it in Talk of Town, which was put on by the Cherokee Strip Museum last summer. But it has been used all over the United States. It was donated to us by a local family uh, of the Graybills, and we have used it quite often since. I'm glad you came over to the Cherokee Museum today to look at our truck wagon.